What's up, y'all? We're out here at the range today to check out this 32 Auto Beretta Tomcat. That was it. So far, so good. Let's go check this thing out and we'll run some more rounds through it. All right, y'all, let's take us a quick look at this little thing. I know the first thing some of y'all are thinking to y'all selves probably is why in the world would he go and buy a Pocket 32 Auto after the way he talked about that LCP Max? And, and yeah, that's a valid point, but I'll be honest with you. The reason I bought this little Beretta Tomcat is I've always liked these little things, these little tilt and barrel Berettas. Uh, I've always thought they were pretty neat. Now, will I carry this thing? 99.99% uh, .99 chance that ain't ever gonna happen. Uh, I just like the way it looks. Like I say, I like the little unique tilt and barrel of it. Uh, I think they're really quality built little guns. The uh, the FDE on this one with the threaded barrel, I just thought it was really cool. It's got the, uh, a tactical 32 auto, I guess you could call it. So honestly, that's the only reason I bought this thing. And and I will do a little bit of testing with it too, though. But that that's why I bought it. If y'all are asking yourself, why in the world would he buy a Pocket 32 auto? That's the reason. I just think it's a cool little unit. So just really quick to run over what you get obviously you get the little tomcat uh you get a little nice little soft pouch for it uh instruction manual your swinging target there and it's the regular nra propaganda and all that jazz now as far as this little tool itself goes it is chambered in 32 auto 32 acp whichever you want to call it uh it's got a 2.4 inch barrel threaded barrel on the end so check that out it's got a threaded barrel half by 28 threads on it uh now like i say the one really cool thing about these that i like is the tilt and barrel so here's your little barrel release and boom your barrel tilts up right there so you can put one in the chamber you don't have to rack it uh just a lot of neat benefits to this tilt and barrel like this easy to top it off like that easy to make sure if you need to drop the hammer you don't have to worry about that happening you know slipping off or anything like that there's no danger whatsoever of, of getting any kind of fire with that barrel tilted up i just think it's a really neat feature now with that being said you still can rack the slide there's no hole back on the slide but you still can rack the slide to cycle rounds from the magazine into the barrel there it does have a manual thumb safety there up is safe down is fire your magazine release is back here on the grip so kind of awkward place for the magazine release but when you get to it it drops free nice and easy the sights on it believe it or not are not as terrible as you would think the front one is just a basic sight milled into the barrel here but the back one is actually a separate dovetail sight and it's uh driftable for windage there on the back got a nice little set of grippy plastic grips on it uh, this thing is double single action so you don't have to pull your hammer back to get that first shot again we're clear there so first shots in the barrel all you got to do take it out your pocket and boom you're ready to rock now after you shoot that first double of course it's going to rack the slide back and then you're on single the trigger on this thing is really not bad at all you know it's nothing to write home about no award-winning trigger but the double action pull it's definitely stiff pretty heavy but it's pretty smooth coming back uh the single action pull will first to reset reset nice short crisp reset you got a little bit of take up to get back on the wall and a boom, a nice little crisp break. That's probably, uh, if I was going to guess, maybe three and a half pound trigger. That's really not a bad trigger at all, y'all. As far as the takedown for cleaning on this thing, very, very simple. You click your barrel up, pull it all the way forward, get your hammer back. You pull the front of the frame up or, or the uh, slide up a little bit and boom, slide right off the front. And there you go. Obviously, you drop your mag first, but there you go. There's no extractor on this thing at all. No extractor. It just shoots them on out for as it's cycling. There is an ejector here but no extractor whatsoever to pull it out of the barrel there then obviously to put it back together you kind of slide it in from the front a little bit once you get into place click it down click your barrel back and you're good to go right back in business i don't think i mentioned this is a seven round magazine also so you got seven in the magazine and one in the chamber there so a total of eight if you got it fully loaded up now these little things are available in a few different calibers you got this 32 auto they've got one in a 25 auto and they've got a 22 lr so i don't know if there's any more than that but that are that's the three calibers that i know they have in these little tilt up barrel models i don't know if i mentioned the construction of this thing but it's really well built it's got a nice steel slide 
steel barrel. All the components, the little parts are steel and it's got an aluminum frame. So all metal construction other than the grips, obviously. So really, really nicely put together a little tool there. But I think that's about all there is to say about this simple little tool. Uh, today, I'm just gonna check it for functionality. Uh, obviously that first magazine ran absolutely fine. No problems at all. I've got some 71 grain full metal jacket, a Gila here. And then I've got some 60 grain Hornady critical defense. So I'm gonna just test probably, you know, just maybe half or maybe a full magazine just to make sure it runs those hollow points. And then we'll hit some steel out here, maybe pop a couple of two liters just to see how it does. And I might be able to get some boom booms to go off of this thing. They need around a thousand feet per second. So it's going to be pushing it, but we'll give it a try. All right, y'all, I got us a full mag this time loaded up of the uh, Gila Full Metal Jacket, the 71 Grainers. I only had six rounds for that little opening shot, but this time I got seven in the mag and one in the chamber, so we got eight rounds. Uh, now, I've moved up here a little bit because come to find out by reading some of the comments on the, on the little LCP Max video, seven yards, it sounds like some of y'all believe is the true test of skill. So I've moved on up here to seven yards, so maybe I can show off my expert marksmanship and join the club with y'all. So let's see what we can do here i'm gonna try to run this one a little bit slow this time and see what kind of accuracy this thing has i'm gonna try to double action first oh <laughs> that ain't too good got us a we got a little lock up there so we'll we'll let it pass with that one for now so let's see what we get all oh, right we got another one I don't know what's going on there. Y'all know how I feel about that. I don't like that. That one cycled. All right, that was all of them, I believe. Yeah, that was all eight. So hit every one in the center right there, even the first double action. So, I mean, I guess if I can put them all in the middle at seven yards, it sounds like I'm an expert marksman. So I, I guess I'm done for the day. All right, y'all, even though it looks like I'm already an expert by hitting all them seven yard shots, I got us another magazine loaded up. Uh, I got another full one. So I got seven in the mag, one in the chamber. Um, now, if y'all not familiar with my range, normally that's 10 from where I shoot at up on the bank, but it's seven right now from where we're at here, which makes those two rounds uh, somewhere around 12 to 13 on those rounds. And then my 25 is gonna be probably more like 22, 23, something like that. So I'm gonna put a few more right here on this seven yarder and then i'm gonna see if i can pop those uh 13 12 13 yarders out there to round so let's see what we get y'all we'll do the double first again ah i got another dog on another dog on fail to feed i'm definitely not liking that right there All right, that one fed, so not too bad on that. That that double, that first double pull I got out there, it, it moved out the center right there. So y'all gonna have to ding my expert marksmanship back down to maybe pro or something like that, I guess. So let's try out there at those 13 yarders. There we go. There we go. All right, so let me go on and put the rest of them on the seven here. Is that it? Yep, that was all of them. So got them all in the center out there on the seven, except for one or two, and we hit the 13 yarder. So let me load us up another magazine. Let's keep going with it. All right, y'all, I got us loaded up again with the full metal jacket. It's got eight rounds in here again. So now I know I've been told in the comments on the LCP Max video that I'm not allowed to go out to 25 with a pocket pistol, but I'm gonna try it anyway. Y'all just gonna have to excuse me. Oh, we had another failure to feed. That was it. I believe I missed one of them out there at 25 with this Beretta Tomcat. That LCP Max, let me just tell you right now, that thing sucks. All right, y'all, I got us five rounds of those Hornady Critical Defense loaded up in here. Got a couple bottles out there. I'm not expecting any kind of big show out of this for the 32 Auto, but I'm curious to see what it looks like. So let's see if we can take those bottles out, y'all.
So it got them, but it sure didn't put on no show. Let me send these last three right there into that seven yarder just to get them out of here. All right, so ran those critical defense with no problem at all, no failure to feed or anything. All right, y'all, let's see if we can get that boom boom to go off. Like I mentioned earlier, that thing needs about a thousand feet per second, and I'm not sure that this Tomcat's gonna be moving these at a thousand, but we'll see what happens. I've got the Hornady uh, 60 grain loaded up since it's gonna be moving a hair faster than that 71, but let's see what happens, y'all. Not nope, no bueno on that. Just didn't have enough velocity. All right, y'all, it's getting hot and steamy out here, so we calling it right here for the Beretta Tomcat. Believe it or not, I actually kind of like this little thing. The only thing I didn't like seeing were those few failure to feeds that we had early on. It seemed to kind of work that out. The only bad thing about it is I would keep this slide lock back to kind of soften that spring up, but there's no way to lock the slide back on this at all. There's no slide lock stop. Uh, the magazine, it's not a last round hold open or nothing, so I can't lock it back and loosen that spring, but I'm gonna run some more rounds through it out here today before I leave i don't have that much 32 auto so i got to go out and get some more full metal jacket from my local shop for sure and then i'll run several more rounds through this thing one thing i can tell you without a doubt it shoots 100 times better than that lcp max did i mean it's not even not even close the lcp max was dropping at at 10 feet out here this right here is hitting point of aim the 25 yard target i think i missed two out there with the lcp max i think i might have hit two so yeah that that lcp max is terrible i you know i've tried to be different diplomatic but it's just excuse after excuse after excuse that lcp max is absolutely horrible that that's all there is to say about the thing but that's a rant for a whole nother time y'all let me know down in the comments what you think about this beretta tomcat uh do you any of y'all out there have one of these little tomcats do you have some other kind of 32 auto that you carry let me know down in the comments what your experience with it is if you did enjoy the video as always reach down and hit that thumbs up button hit the subscribe button and make sure you click that bell notification icon so you can get notified when i upload new videos videos check out all my affiliate links down below in the video description like i always ask you know the deal with the amazon if you shop through there anyway hit that link up first you go straight through amazon like normal from there and anything you buy anywhere on amazon i get a kickback from them towards the channel so i really appreciate that check out those axle ear pro links these axle gs extreme earbuds i'm telling y'all these things are an absolute lifesaver when it comes to being out here in this hot humid weather my ears getting plenty of air i'm not having sweaty ears and sweaty heads just a terrible swamp here so if y'all interested in checking some of these out hit those links up down below you can save a lot of money going through those links instead of straight through their site once again i appreciate all my range game members for hitting that join button and every single one of y'all that watches my videos hits the thumbs up hits the subscribe button and again leave me some comments down below let me know what you think about this tomcat and let me know what you think about 32 acp in general i got a few more things to get done out here today so make sure you stay tuned for a lot of good stuff coming your way and in the meantime stay safe stay Stay prepared and I'll see you soon.